If you're looking to access the ServiceNow Safe Agile application and its testing capability, I've got an answer for that. I'll be showing you how we can install the required plugins and as well as how can we access the ServiceNow testing capability from the Safe Agile application. Hi, I'm Mohammed Kamal. In this episode, I'll be answering the question that came from the community. It is possible to have a test functionality on your self. So to do that, you have to go to you have to go to the uh, plugins. So you, there's a plugin I'm going to show you. There's a plugin you need to uh, install. So you go to plugins. So you may not find it if you don't have that plugin in your application uh, in your application navigator. So if you don't have that application, sometimes you may not gonna get it. So there is a specific plugin uh, which is called Agile Dash Scaled Agile Framework for Portfolio Safe. So you will have, I'll show you in a minute, uh, you will have a different types of this safe, uh, the safe, uh, the safe. So one is for portfolio, there is uh, for uh, different applications as well. So this is specifically under the plugin, you need to look at, you need to find Agile scaled agile scaled all right so let's go ahead and find this one so in this and when you say agile scaled agile so we'll have a number of a number of plugins here right so which one we are looking there's essential safe atf test there's a portfolio safe so this is the one, especially this one, the portfolio safe is the one that you can use to access the functionality of testing capability in your safe. So that's the one you need. Under the description here it says, you can use this portfolio safe to apply lean and agile principles to your portfolio work. So what you need to do is, um, you can see right here it's paid by the service now, so you go ahead and install this plugin. So once we install this plugin, I'll go ahead and inside and I'll show you. So that's the application you need to, uh, that's the plugin you need to install. There are different kinds of uh, plugins that you, need, you can install if you would like. So right here uh, in this page, what you need to do here is if you, want, if you would like to load a demo data, you can load. Let's say you are working on your customer instance and your customer, they have their own data and they don't want to load a demo data so you don't need to check mark over here okay but over here uh, especially if you are working on your personal developer instance in your pdi which is a personal developer instance it's always good to load the demo data so you can see uh, how it can be used uh, right so let's go ahead and activate this plugin yeah so that's what the demo data looks like so this test management 2.0, there's a quick start test that require activating test management 2.0 plugin and the test management 2.0 ATF test plugin. Yeah, so this might take, yeah, it's going pretty quick. Let's see, once it's done, we can go back and look at it. All right, it's going very pretty quick. Activation 20 seconds. Yeah, by the way, uh, if you have um, any question, you can send it contact at servicenowstar.com. Any question related to ServiceNow, or you can ask any uh, question you have on that you can send me it will come directly to the global mindset university and then it will be redirected to me so you can send me any question you have feel free so i will always at least every week i will answer question that came from the community directly so this is uh, that's what am i doing in part of the community development great until it load 
if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel you can do so it is global mindset university then under the global mindset university you can see it right there that's how you can access the global mindset university that's what we have that's the, currently we have 1.08 k subscribers and we have a lot of different videos or resources in different channels if you would like to have like classicals while you are working at work you can use some cool piano classicals and some others great i hope it is done already it's almost there yep if you go to the playlist you can see we have in science and technology human anatomy this is learn angular js if you like to learn angular js that's the video we have we will all continue to add more here this one is uh, sharia she teach programming over here so if you want to learn programming it's mainly for kids and sometimes for big kids as well if they want to learn javascript you can do so there are 12 videos so far if you want to see some world tour and we have big data ml which is machine learning virtual agent and ar this python class in cultural and ritual videos here and if you are interested to learn about history this is if you have any kids and interested to learn grade one uh, different like lexia platform we have um, public speaking and health tips as well so those are the channels we have we'll continually update and add videos time in time great now let's go ahead and close and now I'm gonna go ahead and re great the next thing we need we need to install uh, once we install the agile 2.0 we will also need to install test management 2.0 so where we can write tests we can write them track the health of the sprints all those good stuff so right here I'm gonna go ahead and run test 2.0 and with that, we're gonna go ahead and see once we uh, install that one, we can go ahead and see some of the functionalities there. Like for example, how we can access the test board. I'll, I'll say I'm gonna go ahead and load the demo data. This is always a good practice if you are especially working on your developer instance, on your personal developer instance. But most of the time, if you are working on the client instance, you will not gonna need the tool or the demo data. So beware, beware with that. Loading the test, the you know the test data in the client instance rather than adding it in personal developer instance. Yeah, let's give it a few seconds until this go ahead and load, and then we can look at and explore what that test management 2.0 looks like which is really great test management 2.0 which is installed at the module that appear by the navigation so we're gonna go ahead and navigate it here awesome What I really like, especially on the test management 2.0 is the board, which is a comprehensive review of the test plan. Yeah, so the test plan, that will show you the comprehensive plan in an intuitive user interface, which is really great. And I really love that. So you can see it, everything in a glance. That's help you to see your management efficiently. You can select a test plan that will open up you know the detail so let's go ahead and close refresh mm, close out that one let's come here test management right there the test management 2.0 awesome so uh, as you can see right here the test board test board that's what I talked earlier which is um, the test board is a comprehensive view of the test plan like I'm clicking here under the test plan once it's load we can see uh, I'm gonna close out that one 
we can see now there are no test plan that match this filter so I don't have any test plan which is owned by uh, Mohammed so that's why it's giving you that but I can edit the filter and that's dynamic me that's the one I have uh, because it's dynamic me that's why but if I go ahead and remove this one I just want to have all through and uh, okay now you can see look at that how cool so this is the booking uh, platform release that's the booking platform release you can see how many days overdue and that that 66.07 percent is passed that mean that many percent is failed and the backlog is zero so with the zero backlog that many fail and that many uh, pass so is it, it will give you that good glass here is another thing so backlog zero again that many fail that many pass and this is just um, no backlog right so you can click one and see the detail you can see the details specifically so it will open up and you can see the detail there yeah that's the name the start the planted in the date that's the duration okay it's work in progress that's how many you have and then uh, the test plan here is the integration test in closed team test accessibility test and you can see it by percent so that is the test board so if you if you uh, have that test board and if you don't know what the functionality is it's really great you can see everything in one place and that's help you to see the next thing here is under test after a test board which is test so the test it will be all the tests that create a new test and you can add test to your um, test sets as well so these are the tests right here these are the tests creating credentials so um, you have creating credentials how can you test you have the test over here that's the latest version runnable version yes it is then if you want to add uh, two test set you can add this one to a given test set so if we go ahead and open this one creating credential now creating credential it has the version is just one the test sets it just only have one test set so you can add more by clicking edit or you can create new and then here is the result it is passed now if you click under the test set here within that you have two uh, tests which is creating credential and then the login all right that's the owner which is uh, the program manager yeah that's so that's what the test is that's what the test is so it's it's help you to view all the tests and you can create new tests or you can also add a test to a given test set and the other important part is a test set okay we already know what the test says but let's see what the test set here is. so here you can create a new test set which are it's a collection of tests see there is a collection of tests so we call them test set collection of tests so test set it's a collection of tests like one of the tests is for login there is a partner uh, widget so that's a collection of tests what that test sets or you can create a new uh, test set which is a collection of tests again uh, the other important here is the test plan so test plan allow you to create a new plan if you want to have a new plan you can create a new plan here so which is uh, that describe how a given product or future should be tested let's say uh, mobile release 5.1 how can you that's actually in pending state let's go ahead and see the work in progress booking platform release so that's the test plan okay the name of the test plan start date end date and has a duration as well so uh, here are the test cycle the interaction testing the cross team testing cross team testing and accessibility testing so what these do um, each activity here on the test plan allow you to create a new plan and help you to describe how a given product or future should be tested how you can uh, test a given product or futures so the time frame and it has an ability to break the plan into 
a cycle. That's what we see right here, you know, the cycle, okay? Integration testing, cross testing, team accessibility testing, so you can put them in different uh, cycle as well, okay? In the test cycle. Yeah, so that's what is really mean with the test plan. What about the run? The run, it helps you to view all the test results over here. So right now, run by me, I don't have any uh, test because I just installed it as you can see earlier. But if I view all here, these are all the tests that I have, which are included the pause one, the failed one, the blocked one, and even uh, it is that's not finished. See, all the tests you can see here. So under run, under run. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. The other one is here, test assigned to me, okay? Uh, it's help you to view and run all tests that are, has been assigned to you. Like if anything is assigned to me, I can see them directly by coming to the test assigned to me. But there's not anything, uh, any test that's assigned to me, so I'm not seeing anything, but these are all the tests we have. Yeah, if there was anything assigned to me, I can see them here. So for example, if I go ahead and Assign this one to Mohammed Kamal. Alright, let's see here. Do, 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 nothing. That's fine. But for some reason, nothing nice out here. Oh, okay. I may not be part of this team. So maybe because of that. So I don't I don't want to steal time to rearrange that one. But in case what is this test assigned to me is anything if any test that's assigned to the user that means the user who is logged in they can see them there great so uh, the test execution suits which is found at the end here the test execution suit that's uh, the execution suit it creates a short test plan so what it creates is a short test plan when the testing effort is minimal and there is no need to create a formal test plan as well as a test cycle yeah let's see a given test has a name part one part two and you can see it right here there's a short description has how many date has 15 days that's the progress the percent and these are the test execution assignments so you can assign each to a given individual and they can write the result as well the result as well and the uh, last but not least is the planning console. Planning console. So if you go all the way down under the setting, you will see the planning console. Yeah. So the planning console, this is available for admin only because I have an admin access. So I can see that the planning console that's under the setting. And if you have an admin um, role, you, uh, that will be available to you. So where you can configure the columns that are shown in your planning console. So what it should show in the planning console, you can configure like the name, planet start date, planet end date, the duration and the state as well. So that's a quick overview, the test management 2.0, which is really, really great and has a lot of handy features which I really uh, advocate for any uh, companies if the, I don't, I don't want to recommend them, you know, to go outside from service now and make a test. So this is really a single place where you can develop as well as test. So that's a really great future that the test management 2.0 has to offer. Great. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this episode that's all we have for today feel free to send any question you have at contact at servicenowstar.com don't forget to like comment and subscribe to our youtube channel to get more new videos until we see each other with the next episode have a great day bye